gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you. Yo! There you go, bunny ears. <laughs> That's it. That's it this week, guys. Welcome. That's it. Mar- <laughs> and goodbye. Macaulay Culkin deafens you, and we say goodnight. Uh, I am Matt Cohen, joined, as always, by our illustrious host, Pikachu Culkin. I'm getting more illustrious by the day, Pikachu, if I <laughs> might say. Uh, guess what, guys? It's a stew up. He's back. Yes! Yes! Stuart Still P. Miller. Finally got brought back. Yes, Stuart, Stuart P. Miller. P. Miller. From Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Uh, uh, and that ain't it. Yo, this golf gang has got a foursome today. What? What? B no. song in the house. It's Brenda song. What up? What up? Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah. Smack triumphant return. Yo, this is like the dream team of podcasts. I only say that because you came in wearing a dream team jersey that you had to explain the joke to me. Yeah, I'm wearing a dream <laughs> team jersey right now. I bought it today. Actually, uh, Miss B song found it, and it's a Christian Leitner. And that's what? funny. And that's the joke. And the joke is, it's, <laughs> and that's the joke. The joke. For, the, for those of you boom. who aren't basketball fans, that's the joke, guys. That's what Honestly, they told me. Yeah, no, it's great. So I'm rocking a, a hardcore a Christian Leitner jersey in a size like extra small. Um, you guys but will it love fits it. perfectly. But it fits like a glove. You know, I think I might have a very small DX jersey for you that's never fit me. A D Generation X. Will you take it? I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted With the to, same voice. You're probably you're, like the same size. That's, yeah, that's Mac talking. About I always that. wanted it. Oh yeah, that's Mac. Oh yeah, for, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's Matt. Yeah, that was. Wait, Matt. Guys, Mac. can you guys, do that for the whole episode from everyone? <laughs> is this how Stuart always holds his mic like? This? Oh my god! No, no, no! He was holding it like oh, this wow. even lower before, He's, guys. You're holding like a champagne. But you're glass. also very dainty. You're yeah. like, you're not gripping it. You're like. Oh, also, oh your god. nails are an interesting color, Stu. <laughs> are, are they painted? <laughs> no, they're Whoa. not. They're Are shimmering. your nails like normally no, that pink? They're, they're shimmering and aren't they? <gasps> Am I right, That's guys? Wow. Stu's nails are naturally oh, like geez. a shade of rose. Are those lovely? A Wait, okay, yeah. I will always, and I'll also say you his manicure them. His he does. cuticles he does. are okay. pushed back and no, trimmed beautifully. No, I just never bite them. Stu, do you manicure them? <laughs> they are occasionally, yes. Yeah, Warren, there we go. There's Warren, nothing wrong with that. We're taking a picture of Stu's nails. We're going to post it for you so you can see it. They are manicured so beautifully. They're more manicured than mine. They're actually, yeah, no, they're healthy. Those are some healthy ass nails. You know what, guys? This might be a fun segue. Speaking of nails, now, Macaulay Culkin is a man who likes to polish his nails we all know that oh yeah yeah i I like a lot of things polished especially my nails name one more (laughs) my knob all right there we go (laughs) knew it was gonna happen uh uh, i i uh you asked for it (laughs) um when i came to thailand this summer uh uh, which will segue into the entire topic of this episode to visit y'all on the changeland movie film set um I was like, you know what? When in Thailand, let me be a weirdo like Max. So I was like, hey, man, can you, do you have any nail polish I can borrow? If yeah, you remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I painted, because I have a cameo in the film, and I wanted to paint my nails for my role. I, I, <laughs> I thought about it for a long time. This guy. It was a character, character voice. What yeah, was it, your character's name, by the His way? His name was Chet, and Chet had painted, <laughs> <laughs> Chet had painted nails. Okay. Um, and I painted my nails in Thailand, Chet. and I only painted my thumbnail on my left hand, right? And I liked it so much. That literally every day since I've been in Thailand, I have been painting my nail, and I, and I owe that to you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, and I also yeah. realized, like, there's a lot of dudes who paint their nails in a way that, like, I yeah, used to make I'm, fun I'm of not, it, but I'm so cool with I'm it. I'm not now. an innovator. Like, you know, yeah. It's yeah, a piece but, of flair, I like to think. Yeah, Brecky had his yeah. toenails painted the whole time. Well, exactly. It was one of those things where I first saw his feet. <laughs> and they were they, like no, that needs some it's a great flair. Sentence. When yeah, was no, the first time? No. And they were already painted. Oh, and I was like, "Nice to meet you," pretty much. And I took off my socks and shoes. And guess what? My feet were painted also. You were Mac, uh, show us on the doll where Brecken's paint were, or feet were painted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but but speaking of Thailand and all things nail polish, uh, travel. That is a far ass place from where we are right now, and we all went there. Yeah. Yeah. No. And had very, still, <laughs> have you never well, been? I have been. Have you no. been to Thailand? I have. Where in Thailand were you? I was in Phuket. Nice. Us yeah, too. It was, it was pretty sweet. Yeah, man. How long were you there? Phuket. Why were you there? I was there for a week and just because it was there. Did you see those ladies sitting on those well, bricks? I just did staring see those up at the sky. sitting at the bricks. That what? Was, well, I never I saw mean, that. No, that, that. That's the whole theme of this episode. We're doing, we're doing travel. 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 It's the travel sode. We're, travel we're sode. Little, little mini <laughs> Anthony Bourdain's and Rick Steves. We are all of us. Yes, yes. <laughs> Here we are. Um, Check out this bunch. So my the, the, what I just said, and this might be incredibly racist, and if it is, I've had a few yeah. shots. And we <laughs> go, go on. And we just recorded the 420 episode. So uh, my first review of Thailand was like, 
It's a lot of ladies like sitting on bricks or buckets, just like looking up longingly into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and I want everyone to know that Cohen stared right at me when he said that because I'm half time. Yeah. 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 I, do I do that all the time? <laughs> right I love it. I, I will <laughs> say this though. When we went out, we got, did we get massages or why we, did we? We did. We me went and you to get did. massages on, on the beach. Yeah. Outside of our, of the safety of our Compound. hotel. Yeah. Um, and we went to get like coconut, like coconut juice afterwards. You, you rebels Cohen, outside Cohen, the hotel. Cohen was about to like sell me off to like the first bitter, like no <laughs> joke. I was just scared. I was scared too, but he was he would have pushed me and ran. That's not true. If, yes, if he anything, would have. you you remember the opposite being true. I remarked to you on her way to the massage. <laughs> Oh shit, everyone wants to like kidnap you. <laughs> Every dude that walked by Brenda Song in Thailand looked at her like, yeah, I got a place in my basement for you. Like it was real scary. It was I, scary actually. I, know, I, I have a pipe with your name on it. The, the woman who sold us the coconuts, the coconuts were like oh, two bought yep, or whatever. Yep. I gave her like a 20 and she just like looked at me and I was like, and didn't do anything. We're like, we okay, just, just keep waited. it, just keep it, just keep it, let's run. And then oh, a, a man in a truck well. pulled up and they started a very energetic talk and we were like, you know what? Let's Maybe just have run. the 18 bot. <laughs> yeah, you don't just leave, you run. Let's no, put it this way. Yeah. When you left the hotel, and again, you, this is This tr- is the worst idea you guys ever had. Had. You deal with <laughs> look, guys, you deal with this in travel because like a d- different parts of the world are different, right? Yeah. You know, so, danger and security is different. So at this hotel, there were armed guards to get off the property. It was terrifying, and it left. scared me every time I left. Yeah. Right, every time I came back, I was like, "Oh, thank God, they're here." <laughs> <laughs> I get why they're armed guards. Um, that's so. Thailand is definitely the the remotest, and I'd say the most like. And I hate to put a number country on it, but like the most developing nation I've ever been to. I've done mostly spoiled first world travel in my life. I've been to Europe. I've been to Japan. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah I've yeah. been to the Caribbean or the Virgin Islands and shit like that. But also, it's like it's one thing to go to like you know like Paris. It's another thing to go to like other towns in France. And I've also done that. So it's one thing to go to Tokyo. It's another one to go to sure. all the other you towns. Know what? Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, the Caribbean has a lot of places yeah, that no, aren't it's, looking great these yeah. days. I've been to the British it, it, Virgin Islands. It's a that's sh- it. shithole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys remember your first trip? Your first vacation. Oh, vacation trip. And not even like, it doesn't have to even be foreign <laughs> travel. Just like traveling away from your home, right? I do. What was that? Yeah, uh, I, I went to Dallas. Did you really? Yeah, wow. Dallas, Texas. I, I left my uh, stuffed uh, uh, Dennis the Menace uh, 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 little dolly. In the dolly. book depository? Okay, that's, yeah. That's <laughs> what, actually, I went to the Grassy Knoll. Did you really? Uh, How and old I were went, you? I went there. I was uh, seven. Uh, and I was seven or eight, and I was doing um, Born on the Fourth of July. <laughs> Your with, first with travel experience was being in a Tom Cruise it was movie. Actually, not, not only that, not only that, it's my first occasion of being Same cut here. out of a movie. Or I was just going to ask: Are you in Born on the Fourth of July? I am cut out of the movie. What did you do in it? Well, there was a like a parade going on for all the you know vets. Yeah, all the guys who were born on the Fourth of July. <laughs> clearly. Yes, yes, yeah. And uh, um, yeah, no, I, I you know, said something to my mom. And they were like, we hate this kid. Yeah, he's never, he much, has no future. He has no future right, whatsoever. Uh, I'm amazed they haven't so, uh, put but, out a- But no, no, the worst part is is that I actually wrote a letter like to my <gasps> school teacher in my class saying, oh, here I am. I'm on an airplane for the first time. I'm kind of scared, but it's okay. Aww. See you guys soon. The worst part was it, they received it after I got back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So I'm back in class and the teacher read it out loud. Read it out loud. Oh, oh no. To everybody. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, that explains so much. I know. And I was like, actually a front of the class kid, too. Like, you know, so like, yeah, like, <laughs> that's when you moved back. Yeah. You know? yeah. Here, here's <laughs> a backstage. Dude, here's what I'm shocked about: that they never re-released "Born on the Fourth of July" with your scene edited back in and second build you to Tom Cruise, <laughs> <laughs> like they did with that other fucking movie. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, call, call me Tom. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we talking about first trip? Like we got on a plane or like anything? Just, anything. I don't know. Like, because what? no, no. Because like, on road car, trips, long yeah. car Because ride. I was, I was, I was raised in Sacramento. My first trip was, I remember the big one was going to like San Francisco and crossing the Golden Gate Bridge, which was how far? Did you hold your breath? Is that from I mean, Sacramento? Like two and a half hours. That's a trip. Yeah. Yeah, and I just, you know, I remember. Did you hold your breath on bridges? I'm terrified of bridges because I of I that. Know. I think. So do you hold your breath? No. Oh. For luck. I, yeah, I do that in do tunnel. That? I do that 
Manhattan Tunnel. Do you yeah, really? people yeah. do it with uh, we, cemeteries also. It's super Why is that a yeah, thing? It it's cemeteries. a luck thing. I do it in like it's so a luck on, thing. On the way to Malibu, there's if you take the back way, there's those two tunnels, and I always hold, I always is. hold my breath in them. You do? Yeah. yeah. That if you hold it in traffic, Brooklyn is bad news. I try. Yeah. I try. Do you have? Yeah. Um. No. So like, uh, but yeah, no, yeah. So Sacramento yeah. to San Fran definitely yeah, counts. So you know what? You should never go to the Florida Keys if you hold your breath. <laughs> by the way, because those I've bridges are long. Those we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, me too. Speaking of travel, so so uh, my, I'm from New York. No, no, no. Oh wait, she San said, Francisco. Yeah, hit us more. Well, no, no, no. What was she saying? Because then my my real first trip on a plane was when I was like probably like three or four to New York to. T- be a part of a pageant, guys. Really? Ooh. Did you win? Did you win? Well, there are a bunch of categories, but my mom traumatized me for years. <laughs> no, no, no. And you, no, no. I, I love all these Shut categories. Up. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. So you didn't win. Because no. well, the answer would have been yes yeah. if you did win. <laughs> yeah, well, I won a lot of categories, guys. But specifically, one that traumatized me to this day is a bathing suit one. We woke up late for little kids. I was like four or five, guys. Um, and I, it's, I loved walking the runway. And I woke up, and I was really, really tired, and I was sleeping in line. And my mom woke me up right before I was going to go on. <laughs> and I went down so quickly that I passed both the people, like the two girls that went in front of me. You I lapped passed, them? I lapped them. You were to lap them. <laughs> and my mom had it on videotape and showed it to everyone because my mom God love her. She oh, loves amazing. to tease me. She showed it to everyone all of the time. Okay. That's amazing. Uh, 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 hard question. Yes. Did you have bangs back then? Obviously. Yeah, of course. And a bob cut. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. I like, I, no offense, buddy. I'm staring at a yeah, poster of you where you had bangs back then, too. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I, there's nothing but, wrong with bangs. Did we all have bangs here? Bangs. I feel like I had bangs. Uh, yeah, I had bangs, although I cut mine myself. Ooh. Yeah, Whoa, they're, Stuart. They're, they're, wow. I have, I have yeah. some, hey, ladies. I have he cuts his own bangs. <laughs> I have some school pictures of Slide my bangs that, being those all, like, jagged. Is that I, how you became bald? You accidentally <laughs> cut like, the wrong hair? He's nothing with bangs right now. So... I grew up in New York and like uh, uh, my family's in the casino industry so like very early on I was going to like at like two weeks old there's a picture of me on a helicopter on the way to Atlantic City Mm -hmm. so like my first travel I would say from the age of like one to 16 I would spend three months a year in either Vegas or Atlantic City. Oh wow. So there wasn't usually a lot of other vacations because of that because there was so much time so like all most of my early travel stuff was just. Which did you prefer? Oh Vegas! Oh my yeah, god! Thank yeah, you. Okay. Thank fucking... you. You know uh, what though? AC is the worst. And shout out to Jersey. It wasn't my my grandparents had a place in Margate. Shout out to Jersey. You know Lucy the <laughs> Ele- there's a Lucy the Elephant statue. Uh, it was what a is fa- that? It's a famous elephant thing. You can walk in. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> on go be- on. On a beach in Margate. Actually, where my grandparents lived was really nice in Atlantic City. It's just Atlantic City itself was like the shadiest place of all time in 1990. Yeah, no, AC yeah. is no, the it's worst. It's still pretty like, shady. It's yeah, gotten yeah, yeah. better. It's yeah. gotten better, Fair which enough. is scary. You know what I, I mean? Was the last time you were in AC? Because it's like just like... <laughs> Two years ago? No, no, not you. you. Oh, you. No, oh, Matt. Me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Like 15 years, probably. That's More. what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm telling you. It, it's it, still pretty shady. It's pretty shady. That's what I'm trying to say. And they kind of stayed behind. But, but like, so I flew a lot as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, because I was always going back and forth from, like, Vegas and shit. Um, And then, like... I'd say my first real trip was like probably Hawaii. Yeah, like Maui. Which was like uh, the greatest. And you went from NYC pretty much to, yeah, Long to Island. Hawaii. Yeah, so, yeah. oh, that, that, that's a that's proper a flight. Yeah. I think we, you know what? I think we did a couple days. Like 12 hours? For, I can't remember. Maybe we stopped off in Vegas. I don't I don't remember. Gotcha. But, but yeah. my Extended like, layover. Well, because here's the thing, right? We traveled. A, we, we went on vacations every year and stuff. We did Disney World and, and all that kind of bullshit. But, did you do uh, Omaha? No. <laughs> oh, okay. But my never. Then anything, you haven't traveled. Never the yeah, middle of the country. You've never been. Uh, my parents have never like left the continent, so like we never traveled abroad or to another country as a kid. All of that I've done on my own or in like. That's like my dad. Teen tours that I got kicked off of, which I'm sure we'll talk about later. <laughs> um, teen tour. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, my <laughs> early my tour. early travel experience was just like going to see my grandparents at casinos. Fair enough. <laughs> what uh, about you, buddy? Yeah, I. So we yeah. did a lot of trips also when I was younger, um, but all of them driving. So we did a trip every summer to Fire Island, uh, which is about a ten-hour drive. You drove from fucking Ohio to Long Island. Yes, yes. You're so white. It's. I. It was. I mean, we used did to. Did you have a station wagon? Stewart, yes, we did. Hashtag yes, Stewart, so white. Oh my God, you had a station wagon? <laughs> yes, we did. Stewart, oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Honestly, that's incredible. We had a Volvo station wagon. You're a human my, station wagon. <laughs> my parents would like w- would oh. pile the four boys into and the, the golden seat. retriever. Stu, we, no golden retriever. We, no, my family. No, literally, it was a brown lab. My family <laughs> literally pretended to be your family as a joke one weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think I've told this on the podcast, but my dad's car had to go in for service, and the only loaner car they gave him was a white old Mercedes station wagon. So we went. 
out to Southampton and pretended we were wasps. Okay. We all got wasp names. I was Chandler. My brother became Price. And we would go, Mommy, I want to buy that. And we like, <laughs> my dad would like order a glass of red wine and pretend to drink it and stuff. Like we literally cosplayed as wasps in a station wagon. <laughs> so it's fucking amazing so, that you so, in a station so wagon. It, it, I like it, the it's, name it's, thing since yeah. my brother's name is Matthew. Yeah. But all right. Different. It, Mine's yeah. a Jewish Matthew. Oh, okay. It, it's like going to a Smash Mouth concert dressed as Smash Mouth fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should do that. <laughs> Let's do it. If only they were still alive. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Hashtag too soon. Can we not take shots at Smash Mouth? <laughs> um, so you guys would do it at Fire Island every summer because because Stuart, your family, and we won't give away the exact location, has yeah, a home the address. in a private enclave in Fire Island that yep. growing up an hour from you or so, I'd never fucking heard of until I met you. Most people haven't. Which Pow? Is, yeah. Which is great. Yeah, um, man. <laughs> and, uh, so and much for keeping that yeah, private. Pow MIA, right next to that flag. Hey, it's gated, all so, right? <laughs> so so we, used to, we used to pile into the blue Volvo station wagon, throw a... a Escargo luggage rack on the top of uh, oh of the car. What does that mean? It was it was like it was a thing that you tied to the car yeah, and you put. Yeah. Stop Can I ask it. you one question? Yeah. The town your family has a house in, in Fire Island. Is it the town from Get Out? No. No. Okay. Are no, you no, sure? no. 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 So we used to do I've that during okay. summers, and then we used we to do. Send y'all uh, to the pines. We did Northern Captiva in Florida. Northern uh, Captiva. Yeah. What's the, that? It's like an island out in Florida. I don't fascinating. We like stopped doing it in like 1984. So I don't know like, <laughs> if I, it still I, exists. I haven't been there since, but I think the first big one that I remember was, uh, I, going to London when I was like six Ooh, years la old. La. Oh, and, so schmancy. Yeah. yeah. yeah how well, many books did you buy? <laughs> How many uh, castles yeah, how did many you visit? books did you buy, Stu? Tell us. <laughs> tons, tons of books. God I'm damn you. I'm oh, sure wow. I wasn't reading it. You're the living time. out our dreams of going to London and buying books. <laughs> buying books. I do oh. love that he has the, like, the plaid or the tartan. That like, is Stu's mic on oh, purpose. I love that. On purpose yeah. And the way he holds it, I really do, don't feel dainty yeah. now. He's yeah. got a ring. He's got a nice copper okay, ring. Okay, everybody, like, to explain it, he's holding it at the bottom, at the base of the microphone, like kind of like near the bottom. We're like, taking a picture. Yeah, of course you are. It's worth a photo. Uh, he was actually holding it more honestly, daintily yeah, before. He, he looks like a, uh, uh, like, a, like a a host from the 60s. So let's split, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's do a quick subject change. Show me a potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, I get it. Uh, let's segue and then also call back at the same time, which I didn't know was possible, but let's do it. Uh, do it. <laughs> Key West, right? Speaking of the Florida Keys, it's the most disappointing place I've ever been in my entire life. Me too. Same. So I was never been. My parents have a place never in Boca, been. Florida, and I was like, "Yo, I'm bored." Fucking Hemingway's house is only like three hours away, and it's like this so old, with all the cats. Yeah, the cat house, and I was like, and the Keys, it's like the old one of the oldest settlements, and it's Spanish, and it must have so much history and be so amazing. And we drove the like three hours down the fucking bridges, and you get there, and it's literally like Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and Hooters. Yes, it's a spring break town. Yes, I had no clue and was so bummed out. Uh, so, guys, for my 23rd birthday, I took a week t Disney cruise tour with three of my best Amazing. girlfriends. Yeah, instead of going on the Carnival. A week? Yeah, a whole week. So, it left from where and from, went to from where? From L.A., and then we went to Key West wow. and Cosmo. From LA. So, did you go through the Panama Canal? Well, yeah, not L.A. Not, not L.A. I'm sorry. I should say, sorry. Not like Los Angeles, but that, Southern California. You, I'm uh, sorry. We left through Malibu, guys. Did you scuttle? No, but did, so, you scuttle did you actually go through the Panama Canal? No, I don't think so. I mean, did I don't you, know. Did I you hear that the other I didn't well, I didn't watch, but we went from we went. I mean, I, I'm not saying the exact you're route. Until, like, yeah, Chile. Did, no, no, no. We did. We did Cosmo. <laughs> did you pass the Cape of Good Hope? <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> the Straits of Magellan. You know what? Forget my story. I'm, I'm no, forget it. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna go I'm sit so in a corner. Sorry. You went on a Disney cruise. Hey, hey, hey nope, that's I'm my done. corner. You're... I'll take the other corner. Please, you, don't right. go, you don't want to go. You don't want to go in his corner. You don't want to go in corner. It's sticky. Most of your most disappointing trip. So tell us why. Well, it's not the most disappointing. It was just the most unimpressive. Because, you know, you're thinking Florida. It's going to be fun, beautiful, like beaches. My girlfriends, all they wanted to do was go and like swim with sharks or something. Nothing there. No, just There's drinking. just nothing. Just yeah. Drinking. Just the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> you're hung up on that Panama <laughs> Canal <laughs> thing, buddy. Guys, I'm going to hit him with the mic. <laughs> no, I, I would love it. And we'll make sure Stu film it I totally first. deserve it. Let's, let's, cool. do an, let's do an Insta story. Um, uh, what about yeah, you, Mac? Worst what, trips. Yeah. Worst trips. Ooh, what about you? Uh, you know, go to Stu first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a good time in the Florida Keys, but I I was shocked that they, like, they, I, I yeah. At I how spring breaky it was. Yeah. It, it wasn't even that. Like I actually I 
grew up on Jimmy Buffett, so I was really of excited you for, did. for Margaritaville. <laughs> Jesus. But like, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Some, some, no. Oh, my God, Stu. <laughs> but, uh, but I was shocked at how little beach area there was. Exactly. Down. No beach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. None. And I, I was like, I, I'm planning on spending four days down here, and now I don't get to hang out at the beach. Like, that's exactly that's all we wanted to do was tan on the beach, and there was like a strip. Yeah. Yep. With like a thousand. But, but you had people waiting for the sun. Did you see the sunset though? That was cool. No, because we had to get back on the boat, guys. <laughs> I was about to say, could, could you just tan on the deck of the boat? Yes, but we wanted to also go <laughs> to the beaches. Come on, guys. How old were you? Twenty. I was for my twenty third birthday. We're, didn't you also oh, start like a show 15, about 15 being on ago? a cruise ship? Well, yes, well, I had already finished it. <laughs> and you were like, to celebrate, let's go back guys, on the boat. First of all, and also, guys, I really do love Disneyland. And we went to Disney World for three days, which was incredible. Yeah, I got fun. to like stay up at like, Cinderella's fun. Castle. because How'd you get there? Yeah. Wait, you did? Yes. <laughs> you had to stay in Cinderella's <laughs> fucking Pam castle? Canal. Yes. <laughs> that's that's the Stop perk. Stop talking, boys. It's the perk of working for Disney. Wow. They took care of me. They really did. And so wow. we were on the Disney cruise. We had an amazing suite. Um, and we went on the Disney Island, guys. Did you know there was like a Disney yeah, Island? Yeah, private island, yeah. Which was incredible. And we were like four girls like in big Disney sweatshirts and Disney Crocs in the middle of the ocean like staring at like the Pirates of the Caribbean Disney boat. Crocs? Yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse Crocs, guys. It, it, it's for, it's there, was a gifting, there was a gifting suite on that cruise guys, ship. I like I represent hard, okay? <laughs> Wait, Brent, what was it like staying in the middle of the park? Um, what do you mean? Well, so you stayed in Cinderella's castle. No, no, it was incredible. So my favorite thing about it is they make it look like, you know, this is of the time, all of the exposed like um no, piping. Schwanstein. But my oh. favorite thing was the the uh, the picture of um Prince uh of Prince Eric and Cinderella. Like in this gilded Whoa. Ring. Prince totally. Charming. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Prince oh, Eric was oh, oh, not so that was Mar- 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 I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm so sorry. Stu actually like got turned on me. He turned on me. Stu's Stu, red right you, now. You should have seen look at you should have seen his For eyes. all you Ariel should, fans should, should out there. I'm sorry, I apologize. I apologize. Guys, I was a Beauty and the Beast fan. But it turned into the TV. And, it wow. was, and we were in like canopy vets. It was incredible, guys. So yeah. That's Living awesome. all the dreams. All right, Mac. Now it's finally back to you. Disappointing places you've been. Uh, actually, funny enough, I, I'm going to pick Paris. <gasps> oh, what? what? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's no, pretty no, no, lame. Not, not disappointing that's, a trick, places. that's a trick question. Trick no, not answer. disappointing places okay. uh, uh, like, that like, are like, you know, the worst places I've ever been. It's just, okay, like, I've lived there for a bunch of years and all yep. kind of stuff. Yep. First time I was there, not the first time, but like, yeah, the first time I was there, uh, I met this lady at a cafe, nice young lady, pretty young lady, the whole kind of works. And uh, she, like, Invited me to a party, a a party, a party, yeah. a party, a party. And, I uh, want a party. So uh, uh, ended up going to the party. It was pretty much just a bunch of like meth heads, uh, uh, Parisian uh, meth heads. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So she I, uh, read you well. well. Here's the thing: is that I, w- I went to a surprise <laughs> song. Well, I, was in, I was invited to a barbecue. Which is like what the French call barbecues, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, no. Next thing you know, they were like smoking like meth and crack and the whole kind of thing. <gasps> they and, really did. Yeah, no. And there was a kid there and the whole kind of thing. What? It made me feel like uh, you can so smoke crack. I thought I thought I was going to. <laughs> how, do you, uh, how do you think you do crack, Brenda? Wait, yeah, guys, Brenda. <laughs> let's pause real quick because Brenda just asked, "You can smoke crack? How do you think crack is done?" I watch Intervention, guys. Don't you shoot it up? Well, funny enough, look under your chair. Because <laughs> there's some crack it? for everyone. Wait, I'm being serious. Do Classically, you sniff it? crack is smoked out of a crack oh. pipe. Oh, uh, or free oh base. I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm. A, I'm no, a little drug naive. That, that's that's actually better than. Yeah, it's you good being that like, you don't yeah, know that. Of course, I was mm. smoking crack. It was awesome. Your, Mac's story was like I was hanging out with these meth heads and some little kid in Paris, and Brenda was like, "What's well, crack?" No, look, <laughs> she, she was a perfectly charming young lady who said, "Hey, I'm going to do a like, you know classic kind of barbecue at my friend's place tomorrow. Come with me." <laughs> and she was perfectly charming and perfectly pretty. And the whole kind of thing. Yeah. And next thing yeah. you know, it was like, yeah, no meth heads. And like, pretty much, like, it's the, uh, they were DJs. But, uh, <laughs> of course, of course <laughs> they were. There's of multiple? Course. Yes. Oh, yes. No, dude. It was it was the cast of Jersey Shore. It was it was in France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the coast of France Shore. Wow. Uh, hey, we're not we're not saying JWoww smokes crack. And if anything, JWoww, if you're listening, my DMs is open. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Wars. She got a kid. Uh, uh, and so yeah, no, I. And the, the thing is, as soon as I realized what was going on, the last train already left town. So I'm there until like 6 a.m. Wait, you st- I was just about to ask how quickly you stayed, and I love that you went the entire night. Well, I had to. Someone yeah. had to watch that kid. I didn't know. There was, no, <laughs> there was no I, Uber. Uh, no Uber yeah, there is. back there. No, no, no. no there no, wasn't at that, that time. time. No, I'm talking about like eight, nine years okay. ago. Okay. Yeah, so. 
no, no Uber. Uh, no nothing. So like, yeah, no, I, I had to like, I had to ride this puppy out, but they were all DJs, but it was all. So your <laughs> first, that was your kind first of DJs. Well. All you wanted to do. That's all you wanted to do. That no, whole story was the point of that story was that. Um, that was your <laughs> first <laughs> night in Paris. <laughs> what? That was your first experience in Paris. Uh, that was my first like significant adult okay, experience. Okay, so I can there. see how that could be disappointing. And I had to circle around back to Paris like a, a little while later, and then I found. Let's love switch it for up real place. quick. What? What? If you could, at what place have you been to that surprised you the most in a positive way? You didn't think you would love it, or, or... Paris? No. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Again, we did the 420 episode right before this, folks. So shut up. Do some homework. Uh, uh, Stu, you seem like you have a thought. The, I, I have two thoughts on that. The two places that really shocked me uh, at how much I really liked them were uh, Stockholm, just because... Because of the Vasa? The Vasa. <laughs> the Vasa yeah. was hey, pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, that and all the, the St. George and the Dragon statues everywhere, I just... I thought that city was just so unbelievably beautiful. Plus, I never knew anything about the, about the royal family of Sweden, which I learned about while I was there. And I was like, oh, this is really awesome. The other place was uh, Seoul, South Korea. I was that was the first time I had ever been in that region of the world, and I was just I was blown away just how pretty I felt that that city was. That's awesome. Remember when you ran to Stephen Hawking in the, uh, <laughs> the South Seoul, Korea airport? Is that Seoul true? Airport. No, you tell the story. It's so much better when you tell it. <laughs> so we were, we were on the way back from shooting Changeland, Changeland in, in Thailand. Uh, you have to stop in Seoul, uh, the Seoul airport, to make our connection to LA. And so at the very end of the shoot, Mac Anissa, who did our hair and and got up. thrown up on in a recent, yes. in a yes. previous episode. Yeah, one of us threw up on. We her. all ca- we traveled back together, and uh, so Mac was in our lounge, in the business lounge, watching our bags and taking a nap. And Anissa and I went out to shop and to get food, as you do, as oh, girls do. Coffee. Yeah. Um, and so we had texted. Uh, we were texting Mac like, "Oh, do you want any food?" He texts us, "Oh my gosh, guys! I just ran into Stephen Hawking at, at, in the business lounge." And Anissa like literally no, dropped everything and went, oh my God, what? Oh my God, Stephen Hawking! And ran straight to the business yeah. lounge. We ran no. there and she was like, where's is, where is Stephen Hawking? And it's just and, me who's and dead like asleep, feet snoring. on their luggage. He's snoring. And sleeping and snoring. <laughs> <laughs> you she really thought Stephen Hawking they... was there. I was just—I picked a random name from my head. She um, ran, guys. Uh, once, real quick interjection. <laughs> Stephen Hawking in Seoul. On a field trip <laughs> once to the All Star Cafe at Madison Square Garden, I went into the bathroom. <laughs> I went into the bathroom with a napkin and took a sharpie and wrote Michael Jordan on it and came back out and wrote, "Oh my God, Michael Jordan's in the bathroom." And, he's <laughs> no. and hundreds of people have lost their fucking minds. And I just like hid outside. It was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to cause like fake riots guys yeah, um, yeah. the hawking jordan riots. What, what about what about you bren where have you been that like blew you away or like you yeah, didn't expect favorite? to love uh, the, uh, blew me away uh i would say costa rica i knew i would love it but i think it was just incredible the fact we stayed at the base of mount arnal which is a active volcano and wow. it was just beautiful the people are lovely everything is so serene and every you could see so many different things There's from like monkeys everywhere right? yeah and i i ziplined there and you I, had me at monkey no, no, yeah well, right no, for I, real no i ziplined <laughs> and the canopy? yes wow. and i literally saw monkeys and it was like the most incredible that's experience. awesome that's awesome um but surprising place uh that i've been to that i loved is right here in the u.s was chicago i didn't expect to love it so really? much sure it yeah. sounds good yeah. yeah the architecture is amazing it's what it's i call like a planned. bigger bigger whiter cleaner new york yeah it's there's like <laughs> Gardens and artwork everywhere. Yeah, it's beautiful. And so I just didn't expect to love it so much. So yeah, you know what? In, I love in it. terms of America, it's greener than you think. I, and there's that riverfront or it's like stunning. front. It's great. I only spent one night there when driving cross country, and I was like, oh, whatever. I'll stay in Chicago. And I drove in, and I was like, this place is fucking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got to go into the tunnels from Batman, which was super <gasps> fun. Ooh. The, oh. whack, whacker, the whacker tunnels Whoa. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I love Stu's wreck. What, what about you, Kolke? What? Where have you been that that you found surprised you that you actually dug? Uh, again, same answer. <laughs> it's going to be Paris. Paris again. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, is it Paris, look, Texas this time? Yeah, Paris, <laughs> Texas, Paris, New York. No, here's the thing: is that I already had that weird experience and all that kind of stuff. Uh, um, I didn't like. I did the. You know, I was visiting there for about like eight months, just going from city to city. You know, Germany and all that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't expect to like. Paris. I did not want to go home and say, 
Oh, Paris is lovely. Paris you don't want to be great. one of those people. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, uh, cro- croque monsieur. <laughs> now you're just one of those people who live there. So, yeah. so instead, you just moved there. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. And I, I didn't I, want to move to Paris. They no, made no, no. me. So, no, that's the whole thing is that I was going in there expecting like the biggest douche kind of like town and like, you know, it's like, yeah. oh, this is just like a bunch of freaking like cheese and Eiffel Tower that's and great. then I'll call it a day. Uh, next thing you know, I end up like moving there. Yeah, it's great. So, yeah, so it's Paris both, is both, it's, it's does, both the best miss, and the worst. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say, and this isn't, don't get excited, Stu, but like I did a thing where I traveled around Europe for a month a couple years ago by myself in which I saw Mr. Culkin in Paris, incidentally, yes. on yes. the start yes. of my trip. Yes. He brought over like five Spanish girls. There were some Spanish girls that, they just got me weed though. I wasn't hooking <laughs> up. I think you guys already told the story yeah, in the probably, podcast, guys. Probably, probably, but I'm not going to tell that story. I'm going to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I love that uh, you want to avoid it. <laughs> so I went to like, I went to like Belgium and Amsterdam and uh, the Black Forest of Germany and I drove all around France and I also drove through switzerland and at that point when i when i planned my trip it was just like a place to get in between germany and france and i was like i'm sure it'll be okay switzerland is the most beautiful place i've ever been in my entire life yeah really? like it's like gorgeous. getting out of my yeah. car on the shores of lake geneva and like walking through like a vineyard that someone had in a time like it was st- shocking like the yeah. the young frau like the tallest alps in the world or whatever there was so much from waterfalls to like the forests. tallest Alps in the world. <laughs> yeah, man, they're the biggest Alps. Uh, yeah, Switzerland was insane. Like it was like I know like Iceland is probably what. Lord That's of, where I want to go. That's what I like you go. think of, when you think of like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. But the closest I've been to just like jaw droppingly shocking beauty is Switzerland. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, he, I, and. Warren, he's pointing that out to me because I I lived there for two years and it was he did he had to ridiculous. get a, he had to get out of the heat got on here he had to get out of town yeah, yeah I had to, you just I had to cycled. take off you just cycled through there didn't you just ride your motorcycle through I did the Swiss uh, Alps? no through this, the Austin no actually oh, sorry, was, yeah. he went to school oh, my bad. he went to, yes, he went to no, school no, no, there finishing school. School. I've seen photos guys How, how's your skiing. My my snowboarding is fantastic. It's, oh, okay, it's, gotcha. it's top drawer. Well, top that's drawer. another. How'd thing. you get from class to class? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Now that we've talked about our favorite and our worst places, that's actually another good segue. Good job, man. There's a reason you're on this show. <laughs> okay, it's because it wouldn't it. exist without you. I'll uh, totally take it. Uh, it's like so. I don't. I'm not an adventure tourist per se. I'm not a skier. I'm not a fucking yeah. snowboarder. I'm not into like bungee jumping. I'm also not like a chill out vacation tourist. I don't I don't I don't love laying on a beach with like a book and a drink. I am a very much like get up and go. If I'm gonna be in the you city like kayaks? No, I don't like kayaks. <laughs> um, Monkeys so, that take your spray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, someone on, someone that's on, one of my favorite stories someone ever. Someone on Instagram the other day found the kayak video like the before and was like, is this the is this the kayak is this, video? Is, is this the Matt Cohen? And I had to rewatch it and I was so fucking optimistic. I've made Matt tell that story so many times. Um, it's like my favorite dinner party out, joke. Yeah. <laughs> so like that, Matt, tell that story. If tell you don't story. know what we're talking about, check out the Seth Green and Breck and Meyer uh, episode. But meanwhile, um, Sprite. Uh, I, uh, what I really love to do when I travel is like history travel sure. and that kind of shit. Like sure. I, I like to read a history book about the place I'm going to beforehand and like find all the coolest places. So that's what I loved about Paris, right? And in Europe in general was like when I stayed there, I was staying in the Latin Quarter mm-hmm. on uh, uh, Avenue Richelieu, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and that's like, where I live. Every night, is that your address? No, okay. No, no. I, I was make sure I didn't confuse them. Uh, every night, uh, when I, I because I would hang out. I don't know Paris geography well, but I would hang out in the middle part, like where you were, or like mm-hmm. the Marais or something, and I would walk yeah, home. The, a river runs through it. Yes, I, mean, I would really walk home and I would the, cross the of town. to get home to my my Airbnb, and I would to, I was like a ten minute walk from Notre Dame and the Seine right there, so I'd have to cross yeah. into the Latin Quarter, and every night I did that. I was like right next to the Pantheon, I believe, or the the big school. Oh, uh, the college. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever I, it's called. I, I know. I know what it <laughs> is. Bobaton. Shit was this so Bobaton. like shit was so fucking old that I was like, yo, Hemingway and Samuel Clement and like so many artists and writers and famous historic people I've respected have like walked these same streets at like two a.m. like I have. And at Paris at two a.m. is pretty fucking empty. And, and those and those sidewalks and are streets, pretty small. The so streets, the odds that they have the same step. And, and are it really does good. feel timeless <laughs> at night, doesn't it? G- completely. And that's the thing that I loved. I just went to Paris and actually 
experienced it Sorbonne. this past. It's the, it's the that's school of the Sorbonne. Sorbonne. That's not what that I'm was talking um, about, but. that was no, <laughs> no, 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 buddy, no, that is no, a buddy, there, no. All right, um, no, but that's exactly how I felt when I was walking there. I was just thinking of all the people and all the historical figures that I personally have like looked up to, and like that they walk these, they they saw these same things. They walk these same steps. That's what's amazing yeah, about sound the same benches. Exactly, at, mm-hmm. there is something in the air in Paris, though. It's crazy, and that's what I love about travel, at least out of this country, because I'm. We've talked about this in other episodes. It's like we're all history buffs. It's getting to be like, not me. No, you like <laughs> new <laughs> shit. No, I like new I like that stuff. New stuff. Oh my god, I love new stuff. No, Snapchat. I'm just not as, I'm just not as well versed as sure. You guys. I like, so like, so like, new, what, new you, what you just said is the exact sentiment, though. It, it's feeling yeah. a connection with the oh, rest of history, of course. Whereas you don't really feel in this country when you're in like fucking Glendale or like Sherman Oaks. You know what I mean? Exactly. Fuck you, Glendale and Sherman Oaks. I don't know. Why. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know why I picked those two things. Wow. I'm South America. I don't know why I picked those two things. But yeah, I mean, I definitely love that. Like, I've I've stayed in hotels in Japan that are like 800 years old. That's fucking amazing. I'm also scared of ghosts, but that's another subject. Stu, oh, actually, I'm, I'm you know, just how do you travel? Hold how do you travel? Wait, no, no, no. Let's talk about your ghost thing. <laughs> I'm afraid of ghosts, and I don't like. Staying. Have you guys all have ever had any like ghost experiences? No, I haven't, <laughs> and I wanted to stay that way. I want right, to stay that all way. Right, Stu, where were we? Oh. How do you travel, dude? Because I'm a history traveler. What kind of traveler are you? Uh, I. It depends on which city I'm visiting. I'm definitely a history traveler. I'm definitely a adventurer traveler. Like it. It just depends on where you're going. When I uh, was last, uh, not when I was last in Europe, but I, I went to Europe at one point and followed uh, Vladimir Lenin's path out of exile from Switzerland into Russia just because Nerd. I thought it would be cool. <laughs> what, what yeah, you no, nailed, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. I've also, I've wakeboarded in Hong Kong. Like I've, I've had a bunch of different experiences and they're all pretty awesome. Why wakeboarding? Why didn't you just go for full out surfing? Because somebody woke me up and was like, dude, come on, we're going wakeboarding. And I was like, let's do this. Dude, you got a boogie board when you're in Honduras. Yeah, yeah about. <laughs> so you're, you're like, whatever comes at you, whatever flies at you, you're going with the experience. Yes. Yeah. Basically, yeah. have right. you ever like also tr- like? But you you Google the places that you're about to go to, right? Uh, in some cases, yeah, but like in, not always. Not like, always. Are you so a planner? You'll, you'll, so you'll I sh- do like to plan I stuff like that. Plan. Of course you do. Course I, I yeah. spend six months planning a two week trip. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I have that. my days itineraried out. I don't Google my places before I go. That's to That's your worst I, nightmare to Google. You to have, have an itinerary. Have an itinerary like me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I I definitely uh, Google them, but if if I'm meeting somebody there, if I'm somebody's guest there, I always. Oh, yeah, sure. just say, yeah. But okay. tell me what I need to see, and we'll go. But don't that. tell me you don't look at like top five, top ten lists. Like well, top I do five, all TripAdvisor's <laughs> top five places you go in Madrid. You know, like, you're gonna you're, you're gonna look at that one if you go to Madrid. <laughs> yeah, are you uh, now? I am. Yeah, see, thank you. <laughs> Here's a cool travel tip for the Warren out there. So I used to do like TripAdvisor, and everyone does that. But what I've been doing lately is I, I look up an Atlas Obscura when I go to a new city. And if you don't know Atlas Obscura, it's like an online compendium yeah, I know of all of like weird and macabre and like occult related and just like strange tourism all around the world oh, that's fun. and it's really fucking cool like I, we tried to do some of that in new orleans and stuff and we were we were sure. all we all recently traveled together yes yeah, yeah. we were all yeah. all in new orleans yeah. recently that was Nola. fun that was fun and, and, and you was... went to ann rice's house I did, yeah. <laughs> and we, Stu had his we, first yeah. WrestleMania. And Stu did And I had my first WrestleMania. WrestleMania. And, and we think we saw Nick Cage's grave. <laughs> did. I think he sold Over it. Didn't he sell it? Did he sell it? I thought he had to sell everything. I, I don't know. It was a pyramid. <laughs> oh, okay. That might <laughs> yeah. have been his then. It, it was incredible. Is. That's what uh, we wanted to see. Brent, what, uh, what kind of traveler are you? I will say this. Uh, I'm a work traveler. I've traveled a lot, but mostly hey, for girl. work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, when, uh, that working girl life. Um, and you know, here's the thing. I, as a kid, when you're traveling, you don't appreciate what you're doing. And when you're working, you just want to work, go home, eat room service, go to bed. And so I went to so many places and I never really got to see anything. I saw the inside of my hotel room, the car right there. Um, and so it wasn't, it's not until the last few years that I've not only wanted to travel, but been more proactive about it. Um, what, like I, I want to go to Iceland. You just have to make it happen. Let's go. Um, and but let's when, go. Let's podcast. Let's, let's, let's go right, right now, guys. Let's do it. Um, let, let, let me it. not buy tickets. I'll wait for you guys to the last minute. Is there <laughs> any <laughs> war? Okay. Are there any Warren in Reykjavik who can get me weed? Because that's part of. <laughs> what about you, Max? So, what kind of traveler are you? Adventure. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yes, <laughs> full adventurer. Like you're a I, hotel traveler. Mac is a wait it till the last minute. Here's what I'll do. I, I would I would walk. <laughs> yes, wait till the last minute for a show. Uh, to uh, be fair, Mac. Also, <laughs> yeah, real quick, and this will help you with your story. Mac used to. Mac was like, look, 
first class tickets aren't that expensive if you do it the right way. And then one day he was like, look, I just booked the ticket and it was only like, it was like 600 bucks. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I should book all my tickets like this. And then I realized you booked it like four hours before your fucking flight. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I don't have I that luxury. Look at yeah. the last second, just like, kablam. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Most people have to uh, plan a little bit more in advance. Stu's hair is turning grayer and grayer. Right if Stu had hair, it'd be gray right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would spend all this time. I I would say I I would was walking about fifteen kilometers a day. Nice. Uh, you t- that's, you. that's nine miles to you and me. Thank kids. you. Yes. Thank there you. Go. Uh, I'd spend not the, the, the fucking Australian. I'd, I'd spend the first ten kilometers uh, just getting lost. Yeah. yeah. And the next, like you know, five kilometers trying to get back home. Yeah, I do that when I go. To, I do that as soon as I got to and Paris. I got to, lost on purpose. Exactly. Yeah. Get lost on purpose. You know. So like yeah, yeah like that's how I got to like. Nor by the time I'm like Norway or something like that, you just guide yourself by the sun. Now let me ask you thing. a question, buddy. Yeah, if I keep my if I keep the sun on my right, I'll keep you know I can find my hotel. I've spent a fair share of my time with you in in the the good old U.S. of A. I, I, what's it like for? And it's tough for you to be out among the street because you're fairly recognizable. Let's say, is it easier when you're in other countries like in Norway, for instance? Can you kind of just does it, is it, is it a taste of being? Uh, uh, average Joe Schmo, as it were. Uh, no, I mean I don't <laughs> have socks. No, it, there's really that no anonymity. Yeah. You know, yeah, anywhere you've ever been. Um, for the most part, no. I mean, there's we're, a lot of places I haven't been. Okay, but, but look, maybe you know, they sin- wouldn't recognize sin- you. Sin- <laughs> same with like Asia. Okay, Western Europe, that kind of stuff. Even Eastern Europe, people are picking up on it. Yeah. No, they don't pick up. I feel on like it. we <laughs> took you to Azerbaijan. They wouldn't give a fuck, you know. That would be great. Let's I, go. Let's I bet all you we go. could get a really good price. Matt, for get him some too. tickets. Matt, that's your. We just found your ideal travel location. We need to find the place in the country where you're not fa- in the world where you're not famous. All right, cool. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's go. Let's go Warren, to, if you have any Georgia. suggestions, <laughs> the Russians satellite station. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. or or just the peach trees. <laughs> or just this, I feel wow. like they might recognize you down there, buddy. <laughs> Um, let's house the cards it Let's do this Let's house the cards it What is a dream <laughs> travel spot You guys have always wanted to been to But have never gone to Iceland Is it Iceland? Wow alright yeah. Stu was about yeah, to yeah, jump yeah, right yeah. in there say Iceland No, no I was thinking about it Quite like, short. I, I would really love to go see the pyramids That's that's something I've been dying to see And I, You know They've been having a little bit of political problems Over there So I don't know how soon I'm going to get to do that but uh, yeah, I would love to see the pyramids. Here's my thing on that, and I'm like Balance. super into Egyptian culture, and I know I know all of us love that shit. But like, it's just a fucking outside of a building you get to see. <laughs> if I could go in the pyramids, <laughs> I would go to Cairo tomorrow. But like, I feel like I can confidently tell you what the pyramids look like, and the answer is triangle. Well, I, I mean, I'd love to see Cairo too. And I'm a little less hot on that. <laughs> all right, they've been going through some turmoil. The Sphinx. I'd love to see the Sphinx. Sure. Yeah. Again, I've seen I've seen a lot of pictures of that dude. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same thing. Probably you can't touch it or anything, right? Uh, I don't think you can. No, but I, I, I don't can know. Touch I've never been there. I love that you want to go inside of things and touch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to like. Yes, exactly. Come I want to. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, it's stuff like I've never been to South America at all. And Machu Picchu. Nothing. Yes, exactly. I've never been anywhere in South America. I've never even been to Mexico. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of terrified, and I know that's probably. Uh, Unfair and Warren, don't judge me on that. But like, also don't kidnap him. It seems like it seems like <laughs> be, it seems like Belize be or Belize or Costa Rica. Stop it. That's not. It wouldn't be funny. It wouldn't be. Funny. I'd be. A te- I, I'd be a terrible hostage. I oh know. my god. <laughs> they would release would be you because worst. you're the worst. I would just cry all. The, they would be like, we didn't know one man could cry that much. <laughs> we released him because His he was just too. Be too but he just yeah, cried like, too he much. He should be out of body fluids at this point. <laughs> I'm, shut up, ju- shut up, shut up. I'm just chugging water so I can cry more. I'm like, it's so it's like the water goes in and the tears go out. He keeps um, asking to talk to his dad. Why does uh, he keep asking to talk to his dad? Most annoying hostage ever. I, I would like to go to like Belize or Costa Rica. Yeah. I feel like those are good <sighs> starter places because I'd eventually. What was it, Costa? Rica, what was the first one? Belize. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Because cool. I feel like those are fairly easy. Central America, and, and they're yep. they're super touristy and eco touristy. I would have loved to eventually go to like Argentina or Chile or Brazil Same. and do I'd the whole do, that too. do the whole thing. It's just like I saw those Olympics in Brazil, and that shit looks sketchy. <laughs> I've it, seen the movie City of God. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it was. And I, I love, love that, that movie. movie. You all too. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, what I think of Brazil. Though. Yeah, I know, and I know, and we might be completely jaded, you know, Westernized Americans to say that, but like, 
it looks a little scary. And like, I'd like to build up my sea legs to that. You Same. know, Thailand was a great first step. That yeah, was we out almost of... sold me to the woman who was well, selling your, his your coconuts. Your sea legs didn't work in Thailand from what uh, I understand. Exactly. But, but I was out I've of, heard that. I was completely out of my comfort zone for probably the first yeah. time in my life. Because even in like really? the middle of France, it's weird, but it's still like Western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like Best Buys and shit or whatever their equivalent's yeah. called. Yeah. Um, Thailand didn't have that. So I would like to do more of that kind of tourism. Just like yeah. re- really get outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, you, Stuart? What, where I would like to go? Yeah. I already told you. I'd yeah, like to go a... to Egypt. Oh, I drank a lot. I drank really a lot. shouldn't have come Moscow after the 420 yeah. episode. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about you, Mac? I want to go to the end of the earth because the earth is flat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I, I, w- I want to fall off the edge. Be careful. Where, That's where our dragons be. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, pretty much if I walk in any direction, I'm going to end up at the edge of the oh, earth. Oh, we should tell everyone Matt True. is a flat Matt. Mac is a flat earther now. Flat mm-hmm. earther for yeah. life. Uh, that's a new new development. For life. Hashtag, how could it be round if, like, I'm standing on it, bro? Yeah, l- the world is a plate. Magnus, man. <laughs> uh, uh, and be sung your Iceland, anywhere in particular Iceland. in Iceland, or just like, you want to be in the wilderness of Iceland, though, right? Of, of course. Like, you know, I don't need to do well, the whole Volcanoes you're not are. trying to do. You're not trying to do the fucking blue igloo, the igloo yeah, bar, or yeah, the blue e- lagoon. Exactly. Well, what I that really, blue lagoon looks fucking dope. Though, it I'm does not look lie. really cool. But my thing is, I, and Stu and I've had this conversation. I really want to see the aurora borealis. I want to see the yeah. northern lights. You can do that in uh, like Canada I know, or but, Alaska, but right? But I'm making it my yeah, excuse to go to Iceland Canada. specifically, yeah, yeah. Um, just because. I mean, it just feels like a thing to not see. of this yeah. world. It's, you know? Yeah. Have you seen it, Stu? I've seen it. Yeah, and it's it's. I am not a very religious person, but it is a religious experience. I mean, you just look at it, and it's so silent. Did it remind you of the Norse gods while it, you were while you were that's on, how it, on the, your the, ship? Was it Rainbow Bridge yeah, yeah, from was, Thor? Was, 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 <laughs> Stu, that's exactly how I felt when I saw the Onitsuka Tiger flashing a store in Harajuku. I bought so many I don't sneakers. even know about half the words you just <laughs> said. Honestly, I don't even know I most don't of the even words. know half the words you said. And the I'm... Onitsuka Tiger. <laughs> the Onitsuka Tiger. Flagship store. Flagship store. In Harajuku. In Harajuku. Yeah, buddy. All right. So you know, the, you know, the, you know the shoes Uma, Thuma, Uma Thurman wears in Kill Bill the, with the, like, the, the shoes Uma Asics. Thurman, yeah. The, yeah. the ones on her feet. Yeah. So the Japanese yeah. version of Asics is yeah. a company called Onitsuka Tiger that I'm obsessed with, and they're really hard to get to in America. Are those like, do they have like a Taekwondo shoes? No, they're just oh, stripes. Okay. I mean, they're literally. If you look right there, those are the Kill Bills right gotcha, there. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, well, 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 I was in Harajuku. Sweden. I went to the northernmost IKEA. So, Regardless, you know, I'm saying you were, I'm, <laughs> the joke was your version of Aurora Borealis was my version of like I could buy the shoes from Kill Bill, and that's also. Why were friends going? Yeah, yeah. Also, I kept their shoes on a shelf for four years and never wore them. You did not. Because I didn't think I'd ever be able to get them again. And then I Googled, and it was like, they're readily available now. So there you go. Yeah, but you get the OG ones. I do have though. the OG Yeah, you still in line for them. Those are love. The Warren could honestly see your house. It's kind of, You should give them a tour of your Here, house. It's well, I think incredible. the Warren has seen my house. Every picture we have ever posted on any of True. her socials is in. You get a lot we of credit for my it. design, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. People go, Mac, you have a TARDIS bar? And I'll go, I don't think Mac knows what a TARDIS is. I know what a TARDIS is. Are you a doctor? Are you a Whovian? I, I, I can't. Have you have you dipped yeah. into the Hoover? Time and relative dimension in space. Yeah, he 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 nailed it. All right, thanks, Stu. Did you even know that? I had can, no can idea. Can you name all of the doctors? Because I can. The actors who played them. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Um, I could name like five of them. Oh, uh, I can name. Yeah. I can, I can Tom name. Baker. Uh, there you go. Matt Smith. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, uh 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 the one from Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm not gonna give you the, that one. But. Peter <laughs> Peter Capaldi. No, 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 no. No, Peter Miss- Capaldi was the last doctor. The old, oh the old yes, yes, okay. Yeah. Um, um, why can't I think of? Oh, Der, uh, T- Tennant, David Tennant. That's what I want to say. There we go. There, uh, there's your. Uh, 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 and then it's the old guys. The only old one I really know off the top of my head is Tom Baker, who I think is like number six. Uh, yeah. Go for it. Fill me in. Oh, uh, you got Troughton. Uh, you have Pertwee. Yeah, oh my God. He's there's doing another this. Baker. There's Colin Baker. He's doing this. Colin Baker was the yeah, Irish yeah. one, right? Sylvester the, McCoy. Yep. Sylvester McCoy was no, the, no, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Riddler suit one was yes, McCoy. Yes, yeah, he's the one with all the question and marks. The scarves and the question marks. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I said Troughton. I said, uh, da da da. We go to. You actually said Matt Smith? I did say Matt Smith. I yeah. did all the modern. Actually, you no, know, I don't know the chick who's doing it right now. No, nor do I. But guess what, buddy? I will Peter never, Davidson. I will never make fun of you for not knowing Doctor Who again. You just named all of the doctors. Guys, yeah. He yeah, Peter Davidson. He cheated. Oh, I totally, he totally cheated. cheated. No, he didn't. No, I, I wrote it on his forearm the, the, before the, the, we started. The only thing just in my in hand case. is this microphone. Oh, well, I'm just saying you haven't really watched the series. You've just watched reviews on the series. Yes, oh, well, that yes. counts. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to SF Debris. I was about to say SF Debris for life. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> no, truly. Love your shows. No, that was actually impressive. 
Yeah, yeah, that was super impressive, dude. Yeah. I didn't remember that shit. Uh, all right. Carton, I don't see it. So we've got all our dream. Uh, we got all our dream vacation spots. Uh, Craziest wh- thing you've ever done, like, because I feel like when you're on vacation and things, you tend to do things you would never do. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I've you smoked know? pot in a lot of countries that would that's, kill me for well, it. <laughs> I, I hadn't taken mushrooms in like eight years. I went to Amsterdam. Ooh. And then Ooh. I, took, I got one of those. And then like it was like these soft, the truffles. Like yeah, they're, they're yeah. wet. They're wet. Ooh. Did you and have a fun time? I was eating lunch and I said, "Oh, let me just take a a, 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 a cap and a stem, and like that should be fine. I'm just gonna test it out." She said, "Oh, half the bag will be fine, yep. but like if you want a hard trip, take the whole bag." Yep. I took one stem yep. and one ball. Yep. Put it in my mouth. I was tripping balls, kind of thing, like you know. And it, it, I I walked home the whole time going. Everyone knows I'm on <laughs> mushrooms so, right now. We love it. And so I went home. I wrote a 20-page email to everybody and then sent it. <gasps> <laughs> wow. So, so and I'm then, a little hurt I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Longer than but, 22 years? Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh, so shout out to Amsterdam. We love Amsterdam. But I also had a very similar experience with their mushrooms there because they're different. They're not. I love psilocybin, which is our kind of mushrooms. Mm. I have, they, they I have, have the, the genetic code. Con- Tattooed on my what? rib cage. Yeah, yeah. Is it's, that what that it's, is? It's like yeah, cashews almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. the chemical in our mushrooms, basically. Um, uh, but regardless, our mushrooms are dried out, right? And you would take like I don't know a gram and a half is a pretty decent, like tolerable. If you don't like drugs, guys, don't judge us. Whatever. Uh, I'm into fish. In your face. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's like tall. <laughs> I gra- never done mushrooms. A gram and a half is, of mushrooms is like a very normal trip here. And then when you go to Amsterdam, because they're a different kind, I was like, how much do I take? And he goes, have you ever done mushrooms? And I was like, I, I've been on a lot to a lot of fish. All shows. the time, bro. And he goes, oh, well, then if you could take like eight grams at a time <gasps> and you'll be fine. And I was like... That doesn't sound. <laughs> I'm not good at math, but that doesn't sound that right. That doesn't sound right. Hold, let me look, convert my grams so Matt, to your grams. It was. He was like, "Look, dude, you could eat the whole bag, but if you want to try it out, eat half of it." I ate a tenth of it and had the most nightmarish hellscape <gasps> afternoon of Thank all. Thank you. I ate these things. And I wasn't staying in Amsterdam itself. I was staying in an Airbnb outside of Amsterdam Got on it. my own private uh, dike with a rowboat and like cows, and it was beautiful. Ate the mushrooms in my room. Gave it like an hour and was like, I feel kind of weird, but let's try this. I got on a bicycle and rode 45 minutes to the town of Edam, uh, Holland, or, or the Netherlands rather, where the cheese comes from. Um, five minutes was into the, Edam cheese. Five from? minutes into that trip, I was like, this was the worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. I've never been more uncomfortable being in my own skin. And also there are fucking cows everywhere. And I'm on a bike in the middle of fucking Amsterdam. And I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> by the time I got all that all together, like, by the yeah. time I got to eat which was like the most touristy tourist everywhere <laughs> town of all time. Mm-hmm. I couldn't look at another human being. And I, <laughs> I, and I uh, shout out to Sam Roberts from the Sam Roberts wrestling show. I actually yeah. told him this story when we were at mania, I, I literally put on an episode of Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast because I needed something that wasn't grounded. You yeah. want something grounded. And yeah. I sat on a bench, and for two hours, I just stared at the ground and listened to wrestling podcasts. And finally, I was like, look, I can't spend the rest of my life in Edam. Like, I'm going to have to go home. <laughs> I'm going to have to go home eventually. I'm going to have to get on this fucking bike and ride another 45 minutes back, right? Because I can't leave the bike here either. So I was like, how do I snap back into it? There's a tourist shop. Matt... Your mission right now is to walk into that shop, buy some stupid fucking tchotchke, have the transaction with the woman and leave. Because that will – you'll talk to a person and you'll It'll realize – You'll yeah. realize they don't all know. Yeah. It was the weirdest shopping experience. <laughs> <laughs> all fucking time. I was so, like, nervous walking up to the counter that the woman was, like, like looked around the store like someone was, like, chasing me or something. And I was like, am I allowed to buy this? And she was like – if you have money for it, then yeah, I guess. And I was like, I would like this cheese plate, please. I like, I like cheese. That's why I'm here in Edam. It's not, it's not weird for me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I came here to Edam because I'm a fan of cheese and I'm going to buy some of your Edam cheese. You, and I'm you, use you this became the bo- cheese man. I'm going to use this cutting board. Why are your voice got? Because I was, I was trying to be like, hi, I'm a, no- I'm a normal person. This is how normal people talk. <laughs> They're like cheese. This is a normal people talk, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was fucking terrifying. So shout out to Amsterdam. Don't do the mushrooms there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, what's, what's a, a bad cra- experience? Craziest yeah. thing you've ever done on a trip? Craziest. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't even know. I can't possibly follow that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, bro, that wasn't even a. Cra- that wasn't my crazy experience. That was just a short. Oh, that was. Oh, I've done a billion crazier things than that shit. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what my craziest would be. I mean, I guess. Uh, What's the craziest thing you ever did in Switzerland? Yeah, or in pe- periods too. <laughs> Honestly, he wore he wore uh, white after Labor Day once. Oh, oh my goodness! I, I wouldn't dare. Oh, he took a schooner out with his jib. <laughs> Uh, what's the craziest you've ever done on vacation, man? I honestly, I don't know. I mean, I've gone to the demilitarized zone in between North and South Korea. Yeah, but that did you like awesome, try to start a war or something? Yeah, I did, did you not try to start a war. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Were you cool like, when it comes yo, to North that Korea, stuff. South Korea just called you a nerd? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Burn. South Korea, North Korea just said your mom was fat. You're going to take that? <laughs> oh, shit. You keep running back and forth to that line in the middle. <laughs> no, I, I, I well, honestly tweet I can't real think quick. of a single thing that I would. That I would say is, oh wow, that was really weird. I can't believe I got through well, that. Well, not weird, but just crazy. Because like my story, my mind's very. Most very... of my stories are crazy. That's, I mean, like I can't think of anything that seems. Well, I'm. You know, oh, your standards of crazy. Well, well, like, oh, take some mushrooms <laughs> here. Here, Stu, own you. My, Close my, your like, eyes. Open yeah, what's your mouth? What's yours? See, well, like mine's not crazy, but like for me, crazy was like swimming with sharks in Hawaii. Sure. Like that was yeah. crazy for and me. And they were ramming up against that. the cage and stuff. Exactly, and like it's like this big like. Like, you know, steel cage that they, we were like three miles out into the ocean. You did the shark up. cage? Yeah. Oh, fuck that. With, with <laughs> one of our, the, our stunt coordinator, I was, I was working and the stunt coordinator owned this boat tour and he took me and the other actress out. And so we were there forever. But it's like the steel oh, cages. He took you out. He to took us of, out like, to the middle yeah, of the ocean. International waters. <laughs> <laughs> you and your female co star. Yeah, and, just, and just us alone. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And put, you in, a, in a and and put, you, put you in a cage. Hey, ladies, get in this cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put the cage All right, in. yeah, that sounds like. <laughs> yeah, great. You're going to put it in the water? Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to put the cage in the water now. Yeah. <laughs> so you that shark? You like that fucking guys, shark, don't you? I'm gonna do, are you guys just forced me back into the Close water? Your <laughs> Close your ass. Honestly. <laughs> sorry, Honestly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We, we, so, we take as good as we dish. So at, at any point... Call Stu stupid or something. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, I tell you what, I just <laughs> built right into his name. The, the, the best I can do as far as nice, craziness goes, nice. uh, I was when I was in high school, I was uh, hanging out at Ohio State. Best, best. Why do you always ever. hit the table like that? I can't help it. I got it. I need to express because myself. Of the, because about that's how, how much great he, Ohio you were State so is. excited about the concept of Ohio State that you slammed a table. Yes, that's Jesus exactly right. Christ. And I was hanging out there. My brother was going to school there, and uh, we were at a bar. Oh, I'm so bored. And at one point, somebody was <laughs> like, yeah, hey, do you guys want to go to Canada? And I was like, yeah, that let's sounds go to crazy. Canada. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Let's go to Canada and go gambling. And like, that's, I don't know. That seems nice. to me like one of the craziest things. Uh, yeah, that I've ever I teased done. it earlier. It wasn't crazy, but like my first international experience was when I was 16 years old. My parents sent me on a uh, teen tour, which is uh, <laughs> oh, I love basically all too. the kids from like Long is that Island. A boat? No, 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 is no, no, a no. Boat involved? Not at all. Like literally, <laughs> it, it's it was like a, an expensive travel camp. Like me and like 30 other kids my age, like were taken to Europe and given like a five week itinerary and went to really cool places and stayed in. You know what I mean? It was like a the equivalent of like what kids used to do back in the day when you'd go abroad. This was right. a shortened version of it, right? And I was like really feeling myself because I had just like, I was 16 and like Matt Cohen was just starting because before that I was, <laughs> I was just like a kid in an who, Abercrombie who hat. Before? A kid in an Abercrombie hat listening to like you were Matthew Cohen. Lou Bega number five or whatever was on TRL or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, live. Just live. And, uh, and I was like, oh shit, maybe my thing is to be like the cool party dude. And, uh, uh, they would give us a glass of wine with dinner every night or a glass of beer because we'd be in, you know, Belgium and you get a glass of beer with your waffles or in Paris. And uh, one night, uh, I, uh, tw- 11 days That's into Belgium. the 11 days into waffles. the 22 day trip, I decided to take it a little further. And uh, I uh, took the entire carafe of red wine off. I, I was at a table with people at dinner in Paris, right? And I was like, you guys don't want any of this wine? And they were like, no, we're 15 years old and we don't like wine. I went, cool. And I took the entire carafe and I went to the bathroom and I chugged it. Which is probably the equivalent. You're in the bathroom? Yeah, which is probably the equivalent of like five glasses of red wine, which isn't insane, right? But I was on a lot of Prozac at the time. Stop. Wait, can we pause? Yeah. Is this the Cohen from the driver's license that you have where you look oh, yeah, like Chris yeah, Kirkpatrick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, guys, this is okay. the oh, best yeah. driver's license ever. Or by, the way, by the way, Matt, you should look like Chris Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like a handsome, like a handsome, a Chris, handsome Kirkpatrick. Chris Kirkpatrick uh, with beautiful eyes. Regardless, beautiful though, blue eyes. so that five glasses of what would probably have gotten anyone like drunk but maintainable, I was on like a shitload of Prozac that summer. And next thing I knew, like I was blackout fucking drunk. And they were like, Oh shit, he can't walk or talk or anything. And to be fair, I didn't get alcohol poisoning. 
I was just really fucking drunk at 16 years old. They made I me go, took some proof. They made that. me go to a hospital in <gasps> Paris. So oh, my God. I remember being wasted out of my mind, laying on a table, and these French doctors speaking to me all in French. Like, da -da 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 -da, and I didn't speak any fucking French, but I was a huge Tom Green fan at the time. <laughs> and Tom Green had done a bit where he spoke in French, and he said, Je suis une petite crustacion, which means I am a small crab. <laughs> so I just kept repeating to the doctors, I am a small crab, I am a small crab. And they they were like, this guy's on fucking drugs. <laughs> so next thing I remember is like being in a cab back to the airport with one of the counselors and they ship my ass back home. There you go. Uh, and, uh, actually, yeah. you know what? I'm sorry. I do have one. I, I just realized as you were telling that. Hit that me. Did you get kicked out of a country too? I did not. I, I was traveling to visit my, when I was living in Switzerland, I was traveling to meet my brother in Germany. I hung out with him for a little while and then he and I, uh, or then I went home, but I got onto the wrong train. So I had to go back into Mannheim and then I went back down to Switzerland. But at that point, I would kind of missed my opportunity to get all the way back home. And I got halfway into I the mountains. I know this story. Tell it quickly because it's okay. amazing. I got halfway into the mountains and uh, I was the only passenger on this train besides this one other woman. And she was like, where are you going? And I was like, oh, I'm going back to school. And she goes you know that this is the last stop on the train. And I was like, uh, well, that's a problem. And she was like, well, come with me and you can stay at, at my place with me and my friend. And I was like, all right. So I went back to their place. It's middle of the... Ah, I love this story so much, dude. Tell it. All right. It's the middle of the... <laughs> Keep telling it. I just remembered the punchline. It's, it's the middle of the night. and Keep telling the I same get, story. Like, we get to this person's house. And in the middle of the mountains. In the middle of the mountains. Listen, guys. Like, snowstorm. Good. I get there. And the guy was like, okay, listen, you're more than welcome to stay here, um, but uh, I'm putting you in a room. There's another person in that room. If he wakes up in the middle of the night, uh, don't talk to him. And I was like, why? Does he not speak English? I can speak German to him. And he goes, no, no, no. And I was like, what? he doesn't speak German? And he goes, no, no, he doesn't talk. His tongue has been ripped out. And I was like, <laughs> Jesus Right. So he's in the middle of the okay. mountain somewhere in Germany, and the guy's like, "Yeah, hey, you can sleep in the room with the tongueless guy, but don't talk to him. <laughs> but don't talk to the tongueless guy." So I go to sleep, and I'm like, "Why? Why is the guy tongueless? Like, what? What? Who are these people? And why is it that there's somebody who's tongueless that's here that's like not related to them that they're just putting him up?" I was like, "These people could be planning on ripping out my tongue. Nobody knows that I'm here. Nobody knows. Like, my brother doesn't know that I didn't make it back to school. I flipped out. Did not sleep the entire night." Like the next morning, as soon as like the sun peaked up over the mountains, I quickly made my bed and just exited. Made his bed. <laughs> well, made his did. bed. Well, you didn't uh, want I, to have I, to I make the tongueless with, guy make it. I was, I was actually just thinking, like, did you, like, I thought there was gonna story, the story was going to end with you losing your tongue. I, I was still <laughs> no tongue. tongue. Yeah. But yeah. I've and got the tongueless it. man it's was a me. <laughs> it's a prosthetic. It's a prosthetic tongue, y'all. <laughs> Uh, uh, Spoke with a silver tongue. You guys, I feel like travel is such a rich subject that we can revisit it at a certain time. Yeah. Sure. As one visits when traveling, I'm full of segues. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. Full of fucking segues Have today, Matt. Good will travel. Uh, that's been a lot of, this has been fun, gang. And, and you know what we want to do? We should make a Bunny Ears announcement. We are going to do some traveling shows at a yeah. certain point soon. Yes. We've talked about it. Like, we will, we've absolutely, we've recorded this show in how many different cities at this point? Three, right? New, uh, New York, New LA, and New Orleans. No, uh, Vegas also. And, Ve and Vegas, four cities, yeah. right? Right, yeah. Uh, and we are going to keep adding to that. Like, Mac has a place in Paris. We definitely want to. We're doing that. We're going international. We're going to get international. Yeah. We're going to do some Parisian <laughs> records. It's going to be me with a baguette and a beret, and that's it. That's all I'm going <laughs> to <Yes>. wear. <laughs> podcasting and how and God intended. And bunny ears. Podcasting how God intended. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and neckerchief yeah, of and some honest, sort. And guys, we're like, no time soon, so don't don't look for a date on it, but we're going to be doing live shows in the future. Like, in part yeah. of that traveling, maybe when we come to a city near you, you can come watch us podcast and make oh, fun of Stu. And better yet, also you Please can call our phone number. Me. And you can call our phone number at any time. You can call us at, uh, Stu, what is it? 845. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, you easy, easy, easy e hoax. It's eight four five easy e hoax. Leave us a voicemail. We play them at the end of the shows. I'm Camel Toad on all the things. We're Bunny Ears Pod on Twitter and Bunny Ears Podcast on Instagram. Also, BunnyEars.com, yo. We all love it. <laughs> yeah. We go there every day. Yeah. We're contractually obligated to say it. Stu, where are you on the things? Uh, I'm at Suave Adventure on both uh, Instagram and on Twitter. And you have some articles on Bunny Ears, right? Uh, yes, I do. I have an in, article in on Stu's Corner. Stu's Corner. It's fantastic. Yeah, check out Stu's Stu. Corner. It's great. Uh, it's be, a true story, guys. Be yes, song. They're all true stories. Be song. Where are you at? Uh, everything at Brenda's song. 
everything at Brenda's song. Everything all at your Brenda's Brenda song. song. Everything at Brenda's song. All your Brenda song are belong to us. Uh, Mac Cluckley uh, at Incredible Coke. That's the Twitter. And uh, Cocomania on Instagram. Thank you, Pokemon Coke. Enjoy it. Pika, uh, it's Pikachu. Pikachu Coke. Pikachu Coke. Pikachu yeah, I'm Pikachu Pika Coke. Pika Coke. Yeah. Pika Coke. I like that. Pika, Pika Coke. Uh, and that's about it, folks. That's bunny ears. Wh- what do we do at the end of every show, Mac? Well, I try to advise people to not suck too much dick. And if you do, <laughs> send some pics. And if you're doing it in another country, check the laws first, guys, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love you, more. Bye. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. Hey, Mac and Matt, it's Jessica from Virginia, and I'm a dog walker, and I listen to bunny ears all the time, every time I'm walking dogs and petting cats, and I do a few goats as well. I'm always wearing the bunny ears if I possibly can. Oh, I just rep you all the time. I tell every single person about it. You guys are the best. Love you. Mwah. Hey, what up, guys? It's... It's your boy, Jared, from Wichita, Kansas, middle of nowhere, and uh, it was my birthday today, and honestly, listening to you guys was probably the highlight of the whole day, best interactions I had with other human beings, so keep up the good work, thanks for being out there and doing what you do, and be sure to suck some dicks, guys, see you later. So, uh, so this is the real thing, eh? I'm, uh, I'm leaving a message for, uh, for the Matt, uh, Cohan and the McCulloch Leaklean. Right on. Um, you know, well, Warren says hi. Well, Warren's doing great. Thanks for, thanks for thinking about us, Warren. And, uh, you know, peace, peace, peace outside, guys. A Bunny Ears LLC production. You are freaking lumberjack!